Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's learn Chapter Three, the consumer's constrained choice. In this chapter, we examine five main topics: the preferences, utility, budget constraint, constrained consumer choice, and behavioral economics. We base our model of consumer behavior on three premises. Individual tastes or preferences determine the amount of pressure people derive from the goods or services they consume. Consumers face constraints or limits on their choices. Consumers maximize their well-being or pleasure from consumption, subject to the budget or other constraints they face. A consumer could be weakly prefer A to B, or strictly prefer A to B, or she could be indifferent between A and B. We make three assumptions about the properties of consumers' preferences. The assumption of completeness rules out the possibility that the consumer could not. Decide which bundle is preferable. According to the transitivity assumption, a consumer's preferences over bundles is consistent in the sense that if the consumer weakly prefers A to B and weakly prefers B to C, then the consumer also weakly prefers A to C. The more is better assumption is also called the lung satiation assumption. It states that. All else equal, more of a good is better than less of it. An indifference curve is a set of all bundles of goods that a consumer views as being equally desirable. There are five important properties of the indifference curve. First. Bundles on different curves further from the origin are preferred to those on the different curves closer to the origin. Second, every bundle lies on an indifference curve. Third, indifference curves cannot cross. Fourth, indifference curves slope downward. Fifth, indifference curves cannot be thick. Economists apply the term utility to a set of numerical values that reflect the relative rankings of various bundles of goods. The utility function is the relationship between utility measures and every possible bundle of goods. Utility is an ordinal measure rather than a cardinal one. A utility function can be transformed into another utility function by positive monotonic transformation. The preferences are maintained in this way. The marginal rate of substitution is the maximum amount of one good their consumer. Is willing to change to obtain one more unit of another good. The MRS is the slope at a particular point on the indifference curve. Here are the marginal utility and the marginal rate of substitution for the six most commonly used utility functions. Marginal utility is the extra utility that a consumer gets from consuming the last unit of a good, holding the consumption of other goods constant. The marginal rate of substitution is equal to the negative of the ratio of the marginal utilities of the two goods.
These are the indifference curves for the perfect substitutes, perfect complements, and imperfect substitutes. This figure shows the indifference curves of the average U.S. consumer between food and clothing at relatively low quantities of food and clothing. The indifference curves are nearly perfect complements. As more food and clothing are consumed, the indifference curves become flatter, closer to perfect substitutes. One interpretation of these indifference curves is that people need minimum levels of food and clothing to support life. The consumer cannot change one good for the other if it means having less than the critical level. As the consumer obtains more of both goods, however, the consumer is increasingly willing to change between the two goods. The marginal rate of transformation is related to the budget constraint. It is how the market allows consumers to change one good for another. It is the slope of the budget line. Consumers maximize their well-being or utility subject to their budget constraint. The highest indifference curve obtainable given the budget is the consumer's optimal bundle. When the optimal bundle occurs at a point of tangency between the indifference curve and budget line, it is called an interior solution. At the optimal bundle, marginal rate of substitution is equal to the marginal rate of transformation for an interior solution. There could be corner solutions for some utility functions. The expenditure function shows the minimum expenditure necessary to achieve a specified utility level for a given set of prices. This is the first part of chapter 3, and we will do exercise in the second part.